And first up tonight, big changes to COVID restrictions in D.C. The city's dropping the vaccine mandate tomorrow and the mask mandate for most places at the end of the month. Whether you call D.C. home or not, this affects all of us. Thank you for being here with us at 11 o'clock. I'm Lorenzo Hall. We have you covered on this next chapter and what comes next. Let's start with what's happening tomorrow. Businesses are no longer required to check for proof of vaccination, but they can if they want to. Our Tom Dempsey is live in Northwest D.C. with new reaction from bars and restaurants. Tom, what are they telling you? Hey, Lorenzo. Yeah, with it being Valentine's Day, many bars and restaurants here along 14th Street saw a lot of customers tonight. But now those same businesses hope to see even more people in the days and weeks ahead with that official D.C. vaccine mandate going away. You cannot come in the restaurant without mask, ID, vaccination card. For the past several weeks, signs like these greeted customers outside businesses and restaurants around D.C., like Lupo Verde off 14th Street. For manager Ahmed Mohammed, enforcing the rules has not been easy. I had guests using really bad words to my staff and throw things and they leave because they don't want to show the vaccine card, they don't want to show the ID. Mohammed believes the mask and vaccine mandates pushed some customers away and led to business dropping 25 to 35 percent this winter. But on Monday, good morning, I'm Muriel Bowser. The mayor announced proof of vaccination will no longer be required starting on Tuesday. And in just two weeks, the mask mandate will be dropped for many indoor areas. Support and pushback came fast. D.C. Councilman Robert White blasted the decision, saying in a tweet that the vaccine mandate has worked and ending it now is premature. While Councilwoman Brianne Nadeau described herself as flabbergasted and angry and raised questions about giving up on the vaccine and not protecting workers, the mayor pointed to drops in key metrics for the decision. We put these measures in place. We've seen a precipitous drop uh, in case levels. Another change impacting life in the pandemic, with some businesses and restaurants looking forward to taking down the signs outside. Removing the masks at the end of the month, it will be a huge relief for us. Now, very important to note, individual businesses and restaurants can still uh, have their own mask rules and require customers to wear masks or show proof of vaccinations. Some bars even around the district even require those before these mandates were put in place. Also important to note that masks will still be required inside places like schools and hospitals and ride shares. Live along 14th Street, I'm Tom Dempsey, WUSA 9. Now, the folks will certainly be looking at these metrics as these uh, mandates are being lifted. Tom, thank you so much.